Hello and welcome to Colin's Yarn Magic. This week's project is some curtain tie backs, uh, or you could make it a little bookmark, I suppose. Then a smaller example here. Um, the pattern is called the double uh, linked half double crochet, and it's made just in two rounds. So we'll start here, work on both sides of the chain, and work back. Okay. So, so grab your materials, chain an even number, and then we'll begin. Okay. So with you even number of chains we're going to begin in the second chain from our hook so we're going into this one here and you're going to work a single crochet now we're going to build this up into a foundation treble crochet so under the left loop you're going to insert your hook yarn over pull through again you've got two loops and you're going to complete that single crochet and then one more time under the left loop only back into the stitch pull up a loop and pull through. Okay, so into the top stitch here, you're going to yarn over, go into the side of the stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops. Into the next stitch, you don't yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got four loops. Into the same stitch, you're going to pull up another loop, and now you've got five loops. You're going to yarn over, pull through three, so you work like a half double crochet there, yarn over, pull through three. So that's why it's the double linked half double crochet because we're linking up the stitches. Okay, so to get this effect where we're working around, we'll start with three and then at the other side we do six um, stitches all in the one. So we've got one, two, one more um, and you will uh, have your third, sorry. Okay, so yarn over, pick up the loop into the next loop, just pick it up, don't, don't yarn over. And then into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got your five, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, so we've done three here. We're now going to work along the chain. Yarn over, it's just the same stitch. Pull up the top loop with a yarn over, pull it through, you've got three. Into your next loop, just pick it up, don't yarn over. And now into the next stitch. So this one we were doing our uh, increase into the next stitch without yarning over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through three. We're going to continue this around, yarn over, so you can see this is your stitch here. It helps to hold it sideways though, it's a wee bit easier to uh, work, okay? So yarn over, pick up the top loop. Without a yarn over, pick up the next loop into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you've got five, yarn over, pull through three, then yarn over, pull through three. And you're going to repeat that across the row, working an increase in the last, but that's where we will uh, continue together, okay? So you're going to so yarn over, pull through three, and then yarn over, pull through three. Okay, so continue working along, stop at the last stitch, and we'll do the increase together. So just keep, keep working your linked half double crochets. Okay, so I've only got one stitch remaining um, on this side of the chain. We're going to work six um, linked half doubles into this stitch here. So pick up your first loop with a yarn over. Next, without. Into the last stitch. Pull through three. Pull through three. Work two more, and then we're going to move the tail along. So pick up, and then into the last pull through three, and pull through three. One more, six in total, but if you move the tail to the back, it just helps keep the round shape, okay? So the third into the last stitch, pull through three, oh, and then pull through three. Okay, so you're gonna work three more, but now we're working on the other side of our chain. So yarn over, pull up a loop, don't yarn over, pull up a loop. Into the last stitch. This time you're going to grab the tail and hold it to the back of your work. Like so. Bring it to the back and then finish your stitch. Pull through three, pull through three. Two more into the very last stitch. Two more into the last stitch for six in total. So now we're going to work along the bottom of the chain. Continuing to work the same stitch. So yarn over, pull up a loop. Don't yarn over, 
pull up another loop into the next stitch along which is here so you can make it out you've got two little bars make sure you go under both pull up a loop yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through three okay so yarn over pick up your loop don't yarn over pick up the next loop into your next stitch along so you can see it's just here insert your hook pull through three and pull through three continue to work until you've onto your last stitch so stop here and then we'll work the three that goes in there and then we'll do our herringbone half double crochet around with our little tie backs okay continue to work to the end Okay, so I'm at the last stitch and I'm going to work my other half, working three linked half double crochets stitches together. Okay, so yarn over, pick up a loop, don't yarn over, pick up a loop, into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through three. Same again, yarn over, pick up the first loop, don't yarn over, pick up the next, into the last stitch, pull through three, pull through three. So one more, pick up your loops, go into the last stitch, pull through three, pull through three. Okay, so now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first one here. Slip stitch to close, okay? So into your very next stitch, you're going to insert your hook, grab a secondary colour and make a little loop like so. You're going to place that on your hook, pull through the first and the second, okay? Now, take both your tails, so you'll cut your blue or whatever colour you're using, and you'll take both the tails, put it over the top of the working yarn, and chain one. This chain one doesn't count. Okay. So we're going to be working herringbone half double crochet through the back and the third loop, leaving the front loop unworked. Okay, so yarn over into the stitch where we just chained one. You're going to go through the back loop and the third loop. The first one is a little bit harder to see, and I apologize. Okay, so yarn over and pull through. When you've got three loops, you're going to pull the first loop under the second without yarning over, then yarn over, pull through two. This stitch will be much easier now. Yarn over. Here's your next stitch, so it's the back loop and the third loop, so you will still have a V, leaving that front loop unmarked. You've got three loops. Pull the first loop under the second, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, into the back and the third loop. Three loops, pull the first loop under the second, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to work this stitch across the row, and when you get to the end, where we're going to um, work the little hook part, stop. So before you get to the six that you worked, stop here, okay? And we'll work the end part together. Okay, so I've got to the part where there's six stitches at the end. You're going to find, make sure you find all of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Into your next stitch, you just work one herringbone half double crochet. And now we're at the very end point. Over these two stitches, we're going to work this hook part. So into the third and back loop only, work a single crochet. And then a herringbone half double crochet. Okay, now for the, the, the hook, this is up to you how long you want it, but the process is the same. So if you want it to be really long, just keep crocheting uh, a chain and as long as you've got enough to skip back on yourself, okay? So I'm just going to chain, I don't know, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth stitch along, turn your work over, so into your fifth stitch, can you see the little back bump here? You're going to work a slip stitch. So just under the back bump, slip stitch so if you've got the little screws that's got just the hook you can make this part as big as you want so um so you can okay so two four and into the fifth way down here 
into the back loop to work a slip stitch. One, two, three slip stitch and a four. And again, this can be however long you want it. Okay, so once you've got back to the bottom of your chain, into your next stitch, you're going to mirror this part. So you're going to begin with a herringbone half double crochet through the back and third loop and then work one single crochet into the same stitch. Okay, now work your opposite side. Again, just one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the six here. And we'll, I'll go over the hook part again. Okay, so continue across. Okay, so now I'm at the other side, working over the two stitches like we did before. We begin with a single crochet then a herringbone half double crochet. So go through, go through. Now again, you can chain however many you want. Okay, so that's ten. So skip four. So in one, two, three, four, into the fifth stitch, turn your work your chain over and into the back bump. You're going to work a slip stitch and slip stitch down the chain in the back bumps. Okay, so then we're going to mirror what we did at the other side. Making sure you're just through those two, the back loops, uh, sorry, the back loop and the third loop. Okay, herringbone, half double crochet and a single crochet. And then slip stitch into your next stitch. If you come in from the back first, slip stitch over, that just gives it a little bit of a neater uh, edge. If you were making this into a little bookmark, you could obviously ignore the, the hook um, thing, but they do... Um, really works well. Actually, these are mine uh, for my new curtains and I really like them. Um, they flow really well and uh, yeah. So this yarn that I was using was some flat five ply, really thick cotton and it does work nice. This is just some um, normal cotton uh, on a four millimeter. So you can see that you do get uh, this lovely effect running all the way around the pattern okay so that was the linked half double crochet uh, curtain tie backs i hope you enjoyed that if you did please let me know what you thought in the comments like the video share the video uh, and just double check you're still subscribed uh also check the link in the description box where you can go over to the group and um, the random acts of crochet kindness and more group the logo is a little blue flower yeah, a little blue flower with a, a smiley face uh, that's where you, if you want to get to know me uh, and see loads of inspirational stuff over there too. Okay, see you later. Bye now.